Don't start your DPT personal statement without knowing these five rules. These five rules could make or break your essay, so it's really important you pay attention. Not paying attention to these five rules can really cost you. The admission committee will read your essay and it will not take you seriously. So in this video, I'll be going over the five rules to make sure that you can follow so that you can avoid this catastrophic mistake. Let's get into it. Lego. What's up everyone? My name is Dr. Justin Lee, physical therapist. I mentor students to get accepted into physical therapy school the first time. Number one, write in the first person point of view. That means you're saying I and me, right? So it's like you're narrating, like you're writing a journal. I went to the store. And make sure that this stays consistent throughout your essay and a little extra fact, um, your grammatical errors as far as past tense and present tense please make sure you are reviewing those as well. Number two, always have at least two stories or experiences that supplement your main points. Having three, four, and five really ends up saturating your entire essay so that you can't really go in depth of the true meaning and true values that you're trying to share in your stories or experiences. So I recommend two stories Sometimes you can have one, but definitely not three, four, or five. That is way too much. Rule number three, never answer the prompt in the first sentence. You should always be painting a picture. You can use more description uh, type of language in the very beginning. And then in the last sentence of that first paragraph, that's where you will be answering the prompt which is actually rule number four. Make sure you're answering the prompt in the last sentence of your first paragraph. And rule number five, a lot of students sleep on this. Spend a paragraph talking about your growth and your reflections from your personal story or experiences. So you can start off that paragraph by saying, through these experiences I have learned or I have grown through these experiences by and go through that process. If you follow these five rules, you're definitely on the right track. Of course, you have to write the content and come up with really good stories and experiences and write it in a great story format that sounds compelling to help you stand out. If you need some help with that, I do have other videos on tips and strategies on all the things that I talked about here on my YouTube channel, so definitely feel free to check that out. Additionally, I have a free guide to help you start your personal statement. So the three simple steps to start your personal statement guide, I have a link in the description for a free download. Make sure you get your hands on that. Every day is a great day to lift weights, lift others, and lift yourself up. Have a great one, you guys.